you go through some of the common symptoms that we might see with ovarian cancer? Yeah, this is a really important point because I think a lot of times traditionally ovarian cancer had been sort of discussed as like a cancer that doesn't actually have symptoms or a cancer that, you know, some of the taglines was like a ovarian cancer is a cancer that whispers. And while there is some truth to that, most women who are diagnosed with ovarian cancer, many women will have had symptoms for at least you know, several weeks to several months. And so it's really important to focus on those symptoms and to really advocate for yourself in terms of getting these checked out. Some women will have swelling or bloating sensation in the lower pelvis or abdomen. Sometimes people can feel full when they're eating really, when they're eating, you know, they, they feel full quickly. They can have symptoms of like upper abdominal fullness or, or heartburn. Sometimes these symptoms are related to urination. So feeling like the need to urinate frequently, a lot of changes, Sometimes it's other types of pain in the abdomen or back or pelvis. It can also be pain during intercourse, vaginal bleeding, changes in your GI system, such as constipation, or changes in your monthly cycle if you're still having cycles. The important thing that we often recognize is that if these are symptoms that are new and different for you, they've last more than two weeks at a time, um, those are things that we really do want you to re, you know, seek care for. And that's really important to make sure that you advocate for yourself or a loved one to say, if somebody says, okay, you know, dismisses those symptoms, it may be time to sort of push forward and, and say, hey, have you considered ovarian cancer in what would I need to get done? It's really important because I think people often, um, these are hard symptoms and they can be somewhat vague, but really paying attention to your body can really make a big difference. And, you know, unfortunately, when in the early stages, many, many people will not have any symptoms and there are a lot of other conditions that have these symptoms. And so one of the concerns that we have is that ovarian cancer is often diagnosed late due to this, you know, mixture of symptoms, but also due to the fact that, um, you know, some of the biology of ovarian cancer.